It was yet another busy day for Bob and his team. They were replacing some old rails on the main line and putting in new ones. Muck had been carrying the ballast and dumping it into place. That looks great, Muck. Thanks, Scoop. It wasn't easy carrying all those little rocks. You're all doing a wonderful job. Now all we need are the railway ties. But what would engines need ties for, Bob? There's no way they could wear them. They don't even have feet. <laughs> no, Mark. Railway ties aren't like the kind people wear in their shoes. These are rectangular supports for the rails. They hold the track upright and keep them spaced for the correct gauge. Ah, oh, I see. Speaking of which, here comes Thomas with them right now. Hi, Bob. I brought the wood you needed. Hello, everyone. Hello, Thomas. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Thomas. Uh, hello, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. What's wrong, Muck? I don't know. Something snapped. Here, let me take a look. Oh, dear. One of your cat's bullet shirts has snapped. We'll have to go back to the yard for some new ones. But, Bob, who's going to move the ballast? We've got to finish this job before James's evening train. We'll have to just close the line until we can finish the job, I'm afraid. No need for that, Bob. I'll be right back. Hey, Thomas, wait! Where are you going? Something tells me he's got an idea. Thomas soon approached the Soda Construction Company yard when he saw an old friend of his. It was Jack the Front Loader! Hi Thomas! What brings you here? Do you know where Max and Monty are, Jack? Why do you need those two troublemakers? Well, you know that other construction team on Sodor? One of the members is out of action and Max and Monty are just the trucks they need for the job. What? Someone called for us? Ah, Max, Monty, just the trucks I needed to see. What do you want from us, Puffball? You've heard about the Candu crew, right? Not really. Well, anyway, I need you two to get onto these flatbeds. I'll explain more on the way. Hold your steam! We're coming, you steam kettle! Right then, let's go! This is gonna take, Bob. It shouldn't take too long, Muck, but... Oh, there you are, Thomas. Who's this you brought? This is Max and Monty from the pack, Bob. They're very reliable dump trucks, but here's a bit of a warning for you. They can be rather troublesome at times, so I keep an eye on those two. Don't you worry, Thomas. I'll make sure they're on their best behavior. Now listen up, you two. I don't want you causing problems for my friends. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, must be off. I gotta take some trucks for the harbor. Bye! Well now, Max and Monty. My name is Bob, and this here is my building team. We need your help repairing the tracks on the main line. Glad to be here, sir. We're ready to get to work. That's very good to hear. Now then. Ah, uh, Bob, phone's ringing. Oh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Huh? <laughs> it's no wonder they desperately needed us, Monty. Look at how worn out that big red machine is. Maybe you should retire and let us proper trucks take over. Yeah, we're more reliable than that old rust bucket over there. Now that's no way to talk. You stay out of this, banana ball. Don't you dare call Scoop that. Oh, look here, Monty. They sent in a green whale. Green whale? N no, that's not being very nice. You got something to say to us about it, blue boy? Oh, uh, I, I was... Oh, I was just... Bean, a chicken! <laughs> you call yourself a crane? You seem pretty weak to us. I bet you can't even lift a wheel. Y yes, I can! Okay then, prove it. Oh, uh, well, I. <laughs> I knew it! He's nothing but a weakling! You're a disgrace to machines everywhere! Hey, you leave Lofty alone! Now, that wasn't nice. What makes you both think you can bully us like that? Thomas warned you not to cause trouble. But we ain't now. Are we Buckethead? Buckethead? 
You know, Monty, the Bob Fellow should get more machines like us. Clearly we're more powerful than these heaps of junk. Maybe he should start by getting rid of that rust bucket. Bob would never do that. Muck is too important to our team. Who cares if that old scrap metal gets mended anyway? D don't talk about Muck like that. Oh, and what are you going to do about it? Um, well, I... Oh, sorry about that, team. I just received a call from Sir Topham Hat. He said that James's train has been delayed, so we'll have plenty of time to mend the track, but we still have to be careful of other engines passing by. Now, Scoop, since I'll be here fixing Muck's treads, I'd like you to be in charge for the rest of the job. No problem, Bob. Come on, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, watch this, Monty. Oh, oh no! Watch out, Tony! Goodness gracious, Lofty. What are you doing here? Matt's built into me. That's what. What? Me? No! Oh, I'm sorry, Toby. Never mind, Lofty. It wasn't your fault. I'm just glad no one's been hurt. As for me, I'd better be on my way. Goodbye! Now listen up, you two. We don't care for foolishness around here. Your careless behavior nearly caused an accident. Well, at least we ain't committed no cowardly weaklings like Blue Boy there. I am not a weakling. I'm strong. And if you d d don't back off, then... Then what? Yeah, Blue Boy. Why? Uh, well, I... I... Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. All of you machines are worthless. Worthless? We're all reliable. Yeah, and so can Lofty. Him? That pathetic excuse for a machine? He's useless! Okay, that's enough. Why don't you two go off and collect more of that ballast? Think you can handle that? Yeah, we will. Come on, Monty, let's go. Hey, what are you... Listen up, kid. You better not tell that builder of yours what's been going on if you know what's good for you. Or you may find yourself rusting in the scrapyard. Understood? Yes. Good. Now keep it that way. Or else... Better find Bob. I'm sure he can sort this out. How much longer, Bob? I'm worried about those naughty double trucks. I think they're causing havoc. Not long now, Muck. It's rather difficult, but I'm nearly finished. Oh, Lofty! What are you doing back so soon? Well, well Bob, I... I can't tell you. What? Why not? What's going on? I... I promise not to tell. I'm sorry, Bob. Tell? Tell what? Lofty, wait! Hmm, maybe Thomas was right about those two after all. Bob! Bob! Oh, easy, Percy. What's the rush? You look all puffed out, so to speak. There's something I've got to tell you. It's about Lofty. You see... Oh, afternoon, Lofty. Oh, is something wrong? Oh. It's not the Netwood. Come on, you can tell me. But they threatened me not to tell. Someone threatened you? That's certainly uncalled for. Who told you not to tell what, Lofty? Well, it was...
Where's Max and Monty? They've been picking on me and the other machines. I wanted to talk to Bob about it, but... But I'm too scared to. Oh, I know those dumb trucks well. They're not exactly easy to get along with. Well, what should I do, Edward? You need to stand your ground, Lofty. Tell them that you've had enough and to leave you alone. But there's two of them, and only one of me. I'm not sure if I can do it. I, I know you can, Lofty. You're a lot braver than you think you are. Go on, you can do it. Oh, well, I'll try. Thank you, Edward. Any time, young Lofty. Maybe Edward's wrong. Maybe I can do it. Hey, what's going on over there? I really don't like what you two did to my friend Lofty. You shouldn't have bumped him like that. Why do you care so much about that clumsy crane so much, eh? He's a good friend and a hard worker and very kind unlike you two. You've been nothing but trolls since you arrived. Oh, if you think you're so tough enough against us, then try this. Oh! Oh, Dizzy! Yeah, that's what you get. Do it again, Max. Much harder. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who came crawling back. Old Blue Boy, the scary crane. L Lofty? Come on, Monty. This old crane's in for another bashing. Look out, Lofty! Promise not to pick on me and my friends again! And if I catch you trying to hurt Dizzy again, I'll throw you both in the air! You got it? We promise, Lofty. Yeah, j just don't hurt us, okay? Come on, Max! Let's get out of here! We're right behind you, Monty! Hey, good on you, Lofty! <laughs> yeah, you shall him! Yes! Thank you, Lofty. You are so brave! <laughs> well, I... Lofty! <laughs> oh no! I think I'm in trouble now! Oh, Bob, I know what you're gonna say, and I'm sorry, but I was only... But Lofty, I'm not mad at you. I'm proud of you. Percy told me what was going on, and I saw you stand up to those trucks, and you even defended Dizzy. If that doesn't show what a good friend you are, then I don't know what will. Oh, thank you, Bob. But now that Max and Monty have left, what about the ballast? Oh, you'll find that a certain someone's fully mended. Mark to the rescue! Mark! Come on, then. Let's get this job done. <laughs> Work with the rails, everyone. Thanks, James. You can carry on now. <laughs> you all did a wonderful job today. Yeah, no thanks to Max and Monty. Well, you don't have to worry about those two anymore. I don't plan on letting them help us with any more building projects. But, there was someone today who worked very hard indeed. Lofty, our big blue crane. The bravest crane I've ever known. Me? Brave? Of course you are, Lofty. You're a true blue friend, you are. I just wish I'd been there to see you scare off those two bullies. <laughs> you are very brave, Lofty. Thanks for sticking up for me. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Dizzy. Say, where did Maxi Multi run off to anyway? You know, Monty, maybe messing with that big crane wasn't such a good idea. Agreed! I don't want to see anything else blue for a long time. Oh, hello. I thought I'd run into you two out here. I heard you haven't been very nice to my machine friends. Don't think you can try and scare us. Yeah, we're not afraid of you. Oh, it's not me you should be worrying about. Max and Monty! Uh-oh. I am very disappointed in you two. I've heard from Bob that you have been horrible and rude to his machines. 
You both will go back to the yard and stay in your shed for a whole week. Maybe that'll teach you before you decide to pick on someone. Yes, Miss Jenny. Sorry, Miss Jenny. Now then, Thomas, could you take me back to the construction yard? Of course I can, ma'am. You did good, Lofty. You did really good. With that said, Thomas puffed away, feeling proud of his friend, Lofty the Big Blue Crane.